to this episode of What a Horse, and I got my buddy Jerry. We, we yes. drug him over here this morning. Yes. You ready to go? I'm ready. I tell you, I do want to uh, send our condolences to the Sammy Cagle family. Uh, we lost Sammy. He, he is, uh, he was a, a heck of a guy. I mean, yes, you, he was. you could sit and talk all day about him and Gail, but Sammy was just a, a super, super good person always well and willing to help and uh own some great horses but he will be missed by this industry and like i say our condolences to the family your turn we'll be right back after these messages <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Well, Jerry, you know there's a lot going on over in Shelby. Right? Oh, yes, it uh, is. We got the Penny Royal coming up, and you can contact Marty or Jennifer Barr, and they will give you all the details. But uh, I'm looking forward to, I, I'm really hoping that goes over well. I hope so, too. I know I think it's getting a lot of excitement. I know it is, and I'm, you know, I just hope a lot of spectators come, a lot of participants, just to keep everything in the industry going strong. Oh, yeah. but they, start they, off the year right. They're talking it up right now, yeah. so we're, we're going to see. I, that's right. And that's what I'm looking forward to, just a great show. Uh, Celebration announced that they have had their second straight year of uh, increase in funding, and uh, they come out good, but they made a major announcement that Cooper Steele is in, putting some money into the celebration. They're going to redo the arena front. It's going to be Cooper Steele Arena, and I believe they're going to have that in place for, I believe it's the next 20 years, it will be known as the uh, Cooper Steele. Now, yep, next 20 years, that's what it, the agreement was there. They're going to make all kinds of upgrades oh, yeah. and everything. If we're lucky, we'll get air conditioning. 
then they can have shows. Well, just 20 years from now, Jerry, we'll be two old men sitting up there in the stands giving the... I hope 20 years from now I'm sitting up there in the stands, even if I'm wiping <laughs> sweat. <laughs> I don't care. It don't make no difference. <laughs> but it, it, it is, uh, I don't know, it, it's just great that they, they're making a, upgrades. It's yes, also it great that you're getting the increase in the profits doing that. Another thing that they announced was Mikey Motors, which is on the show grounds. Every celebration you rent your buggies yeah. from them, they're going to be there year round now. Okay. You can rent, go rent Mike, uh, Mikey's uh, buggies anytime you want to. So, and I guess that's the reason they're having all these shows. They got rodeos, they got ho uh, shooting from horseback. They're going to have two of those this year. Okay. They had one last year. And a lot of people come to it, so it's uh, things are looking up. I know in February there is a state archery tournament being held there, and there'll be archers from all over the state of Tennessee. Y'all want to see something? You go watch that. I bet that is these, very neat. Hey, these kids in these bow and arrows, and we have people in Walking Horse. Saying, Alex Luther. Uh huh. Now she she good with that bow and arrow. But we have a lot of kids. I, I've got four grandkids. That's what I was saying. Your grandkids. Yeah. Well, mine has won state tournaments, state championships. They've, they've done it all, but I don't know how they're going to do this year, but you can bet money I'm going to be there watching them. Yeah. They, uh, that ain't easy. No, I tried it ain't it. easy. I tried <laughs> it. ain't easy. Mine Believe me. It up straight down. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't <laughs> never get it right. I can, I can, I can shoot it, but I'm, that target... I know a hundred the other day they was out there practicing out of 30 shots he had 17 bullseyes. Man. Now that, that's, that's that's good. That's really good. <laughs> I mean, 17, that's better than 50%. What else we got? We had uh, Scott Desjardins came to Shelbyville and uh, th this is one thing that bothers me and it bothers me a lot. In this industry we have Republicans and we have Democrats. Now, I mean, we're all over the United States. Why is it that the only people that are defending this horse are Republicans? I mean, that, that does not yeah. make sense to me. And I, I'm going to say this much. We're, we've got shows coming up. And, Jerry, you know how I am. Before we go to a show, there's one thing that we do. I yes. call the veterinarian and have my horse inspect inspected. Inspect your horse. Yeah. I want to know. That's something everybody ought to look at because it's, you've you got to protect yourself. And we have the ability to video the inspections. So it's a smart thing that every time your horse goes up for inspection, you video it. And you document it. Which show, which inspector, in video, uh, which inspector inspected it, which VMO inspected it. And what show it was at? It's just uh, it'd be good to document all that because you never know when you're going to need it. Yep, you're and right. That's one thing. Now with yours, I don't worry about them because I've told you I lead them up there. You lead them up, up there. there. It makes yeah. no difference. Mm -hmm. So that's it. And what what else should we talk about today? I know you got a lot going on in your life over there. Y'all got a lot of two year olds. Yeah, got a lot of two year olds. I got some three year olds that's coming on that haven't never been showed that we're going to show this year. For the first time, I mean, we got a lot of pretty good horses that's, that's coming on. You know, well, I watched that two-year-old Jeremy had the other day. Now, that's a bad cat. Yeah, there. he's he's coming on really Nicaragua. good. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Yeah, we uh -huh. showed it last week. Now that that's a good horse. He's tired me, <laughs> but bred and raised, top and bottom. All right, I tell you, I've I've had this question asked to me, so we we got a video to show. Everybody watch Ali Joe Jacobs show. I mean, every time you look up it. That young lady's in show pleasure. She's in the flat shot. She's oh, yeah. in the phony. She's, you name it, and she's ready to go. I believe they had a mule show. She'd be in there oh, on yeah, the mule. She'd be in but there they on. said, how does a little girl like that get started on riding horses the way she does? So we're going to show you how Allie Joe got started. Oh, yeah. Now, that's, that's getting started. She is ready, buddy. <laughs> She is ready to go right now. Ain't that something? Oh, yeah. That is, that is very sweet right there. 
Well, she's, she's riding one, and she got one tagging along for the <laughs> journey. That's pretty good. Old Jake's getting a good work out there. Yep. <laughs> he told me that they had a horse show in the house every night, that she would do something as a horse show. But that's what we need. We need youth to get involved. And I, I did find this out. I made a post about Academy, which we used to have a real good Academy program. And I, I did not realize it, but Woe has an academy program. And in talking to Jessica Mast, she said that they did recognize uh, performance horses. Because I'm a firm believer you cannot promote this industry unless you promote our horse from top to bottom. Yes. So, and I'm talking about from trail rides to flat shod to performance, it's everybody. And these shows that the, these kids had, now they're important. They're important for our, our youth, they're important for our growth. So we're trying to come up with a location and everything to have a show to raise funds for our academy. Now I was told this, kids have to be a member yes. of the academy. Uh -huh. And I think it's probably $20, $25 to be a member. They have to be a member of the academy, but I've also received several emails from different people that are very interested in this, and uh, they think it would be great. So the problem we will have is finding shows that will include academy classes, classes yes. with them. And that might very well be what the funding goes for, is to sponsor those classes. I know we're having academy uh, not Academy, but the uh, uh, the ones that, that the breeders do, medallion classes, but we need to sponsor some Academy, Academy classes class, yes. to where we can have them. That'd be a real neat thing to have, you know. Well, I'll tell you what, Jerry, if, if you don't get your youth involved, then eventually you're not going to have anything. And that's the same with any kind of sports. If you don't have little league, minor league, little league, t-ball and all this, you're not going to have a middle school team, you ain't going to have a high school team, there will be no college team. Yes. Won't be any pro teams. The youth is where everything comes from, and it's the way they're brought up. Yes, I, I would love to get some kind of thing with some of the schools that's around, you know, Bedford County, Coffee County, and, It'd be fantastic. and stuff like that, and kind of get them to, ever, to start a, a horse program or something like that. Well, yeah. Have you ever seen the movie Blast from the Past? Yes. I watched that the other night, and they were trying to explain baseball with him, and he never got it until he went to a baseball game. And then he saw what they was talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, and that, that's what I'm talking about. The kids, they learn, just like Allie Jo. She had a ball on that horse, and she it created a love for the equine and for the horses. And now, I mean, she is horse crazy. Oh yeah, she loved them horses. She, she got, got to have them. Now, we was talking about inspections. We know that in the past, we've had different problems with inspections, but our industry has worked very diligently to keep our horses above board. Keep, and that's why I'm saying video. We went through a time to where a lot of horses were being turned down that shouldn't have been turned down. Veterinarians look at it and they couldn't find any. When they brought the three vets in, independent vets, they said, this ain't what we inspect, it expected. Well, you believed what you were told rather than coming and looking. And yeah. that's, that's really all we want is people to look for yourself. We had, uh, I believe it was 2016, we had a lot of horses be turned down on scar rule, but when they took 29 of them and put them up for a month immediately after the celebration, and they did 58 biopsies, every one of the biopsies came back negative, which meant that 29 horses were disqualified 
25 trainers were dis demeaned, really, accused of abusing a horse. 29 owners were upset. The celebration lost entries. Yes. Everybody suffered, but the people who turned the horses down, that shouldn't have been turned down. And anybody can say what they want to. Facts are facts. And when you watch and you see a horse and, and you look and you cannot find anything wrong with that horse, but someone says, well, it's right here. All you got to do is look, look, look. But you can't see it. I believe Judd Bethany one time said, but there's nothing here. And uh, Dr. Baum told him, he said, well, the USDA said there was. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what, what more can you do? So what, the only thing I'm telling people is respect the inspectors, but video them. Video, yeah. Video them, and don't be afraid to ask them questions. And personally, I would have them inspected before I ever took them, to tell you the truth. I mean, I do. It's not that expensive. Not nowhere near as expensive as it would be if you got a federal case that you had to go defend. And at least this way, you've got a licensed veterinarian said that there wasn't nothing wrong with the horse before you left the barn. You remember the uh, when uh, we had one that said there was a a scar there, even though it was only two cells, two yeah, or three cells thick. Yeah. When you can feel the roll of the top of it, down through things like that's, that. that's a scar, even if it's only two or three cells thick. But it's, it's, it's been looked at so many different ways. It's so confusing. There's one thing that he said that is 100% correct. The scar rule should be a no-brainer. Yes. Because I know a scar when I see one. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, you don't have to part hair. You don't have to scrape around. You don't have to try to find the scar. You can look down and you can see a scar. Oh Period. yeah, you can see it. You, you, it they're you obvious. Feel. But you know, even on the inspection part of it, Jerry, you know, it's so different because everyone squeezes different ways. I know. Everybody got more different hand paper, um, strength. I mean, you can shake someone's hand, and some people shake your hand soft. Some people shake your hand with a firm grip. So you know, on checking that horse. Well, a lot of times it gets bone to bone too. And oh yeah. That, that's that's illegal. Now that guy right there, I'm gonna tell you. That horse knows that that, the guy BM, is that BMO was scared to death of that horse, but that horse was turned down for being unruly yeah. because the inspector was, was, afraid, he was, back. Afraid, yeah. was mm -hmm. afraid of the horse. That that those are things that gets me is if if you're going to inspect these horses, at least know something about a horse. Well, I mean, if you're going to inspect them, you can't be scared of something. That's like me. I'm not going to be an alligator hunter because I'm scared of them, so I'm not going to go out there and try to. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be with you. I'm not going to go out there and try to wrestle one. I ain't getting in the boat. <laughs> boat. That's right. <laughs> out there where they're at. So if I'm scared of something, why am I going to go ahead and try to inspect it? Well, I don't want to get thrown by a bull, so I ain't going to ride Right one. one. That's right. I'm not going to get on a, a horse that was known to buck. and But walking horses, it, it's just like this. And there's a saying, a dog knows who to trust. Trust, that's right. I got news for y'all. Horses know who to trust. Even riding horses, when you get somebody on a horse and a person is real nervous, that horse gets nervous. But if that horse is, if that person is real relaxed, that horse is relaxed. So I mean, they can tell. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Everybody I know of watches Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. Beth was the baddest woman I ever met, but she scared to death of horses. And it was explained to her. In the one scene, he explained to her and told her what to do and how to relax on that horse. And then she had a good time riding and she rode a lot more in the movie. Yeah. But what he said was true. Because you take someone that's afraid of horse, you put them on a horse, that horse knows and that scares the horse. That's right. Because he doesn't know what you're going to do. That, that's a problem. That's a problem any, any time. All right, we got kids classes. These, these are just 
some that I want people to wonder, we going to see these this year? Are they going to be around? Now, here's one of the medallion classes from the, uh, over to Cal Sonic. Soon to be Cooper Steel Arena. But now that's Family Jewels. Now, that horse has shown in all kinds of classes. Okay, so that's right. I believe it's even shown in a couple of state classes. And now they're using it in the equitation metal classes. And Riley, well, Riley is a great rider, though. And right there, everybody knows who that is. Now, this is your show pleasure class. But where are these kids going to be this year? Yeah. I mean, they'd probably be still be in show, and show pleasure, but that's 11 and under. Yeah. Now they go up. They go up to a different branch. Well, some of them do. Not all of them. But we're pointing this stuff out, Jerry, just like your grandson. He, he would be primed to be an academy. Yes. In the Lebanon. You know, these horses can be used even in the school system as making a kid, getting a kid to do his work a lot better. He know he's gonna be able to ride a horse that afternoon. If he get his work done, he know he be able to ride. And I mean, that's all my my grandson think about when he get ready. Can I go to the barn? When he leave, when he get ready, when I pick him up from school, he's he want to go to the barn and see the horses and ride that the horses. That's right. And I told him I get his homework and he go ahead and get it done and he would go to the barn. Well, I guarantee you, th these kids, we got a lot of smart ones. And I'm sure that that Amanda and Jake make sure Allie Joe's got her work done. Oh, up. yes. See, my grandson, he, he wants to play Little League this year, so Josh would put a little pressure on him. He's got to make A's and B's. That's right. So we're going over to get fitted the other day, and Hunter's in the back seat studying homework. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wants those A's and B's. And that's the thing, you know, you can... I tell you, you be, you'll be surprised if you take a horse or something like that to a schoolhouse, how everyone, even the kids that's behavior kids, change their attitude and, yes. and pay attention to that horse. That's it. They, they turn around, they see that horse completely different. Completely different. But just think when we, uh, well, Jessica Mass told me, she said that she was there until the very last rider rode when we did equine education. Think about how many of them kids have never been on a horse. That's right. Now, over 2,000 of them rode one that day. So, that's it. Now, here's another division right here, but this is the 12 to 17, and we do have a 12 to 15 division. I believe it is, isn't it? Yeah. So, everybody did, but this is flat shot. Now, most of this video we're going to see is from 2022 and these youngsters getting ready to go into a show season this year and I'm hoping several of them are up in uh, Kentucky at the Penny Roy. There's Diamond at the Ritz and Lexi Smith and here's an example. Walden. They share their horses with these kids and I think that's fantastic. That's what Sammy and Gail Cagle, yeah. they were big on letting kids ride their horses. So there's kids that can get involved in this industry that don't necessarily own a horse, but they may know someone that's got a horse that says, yeah, get them ready and let them ride my horse. This is the future. I love to watch them, watching them kid ride horses. Well, a lot of them, they'll go out there and they'll get started on that flat shot. Next thing you know, well, look at Allie Joe. She got started on a little pony. Then she got started. Yeah. Next step was the lead line. Ryan, yeah. Next thing you know, she's saying, turn them reins loose. I'm ready to go. Yeah. yeah.
you can hear the excitement in the background at these classes. All them kids, you get the moms, the dads, the grandparents, and everybody else. I mean, they gonna holler for that kid. Now, if you ever want to get in trouble, you just miss one of them kids with a parent. <laughs> you got it. But, yeah. Well, I, I tell you, Jerry, the, the, thing, the things that I look at is how these kids grow and mature in what they do. And the horses help them a lot. Oh, it does. I have a little girl now. Macy that story when she was little, I started showing lead line. One of the first times I really ever showed lead line. And I mean, and she's 12 years old. And I mean, it just, she brought her shyness out and everything else. I mean, she's very outspoken now and love the horses and she's still back riding. Oh yeah. Well, I've enjoyed watching a lot of them grow up in this industry, but once they, like, look at that. I'm, I'm telling you, it, it just, I don't know, it, they, when these kids really get struck by the horse, it's something that never leaves them. We were over at, uh, Gary Edwards came up the other day, and uh, he brought a young gentleman with him that I can remember in the Lebanon under. I've watched, we've watched him grow all the way up. And now he, he, he's a grown man. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. And what's really great is when you go out there and you see someone that uh, grew up in the industry, showed, and now they're watching their children. That you're children. right. Over on the west side, let's give a Dollar Silver Collector and Grace and Jean Ware. Now, Tom Ware. Her grandfather, I guarantee you, when he sees her riding, winning, he's strutting around like a pickup. Mm -hmm. I tell you, another thing I like to watch, Jerry, and that's when these, when people, they, they, you first see them ride, and then they go to equita take equitation classes. Yes. And like that right there. Now there's Allie Jo. Mm -hmm. You look at her now on that horse, and think back of what she was doing on the pony. Yes. I mean, she would get, I mean, all over the place looking around, but she started that transformation with the lead line. Lead line, yeah. And stuck with it. That's where you get your roots from, and a lot of people don't realize it, but that lead line, it teaches you a lot on posture, how to sit up on the horse, how to hold your hands, and That's focus. It. That um, and, and keeping your Look in between the ears of the, the horse's horse. ears. I mean, it, it, it's amazing, especially when you have these youngsters that can sit there and, and maintain that level of concentration. Especially and, when they're four years old. You know, you start them at three and four years old, yeah. making them have that and that focus on sitting there and looking in between that horse's ears. I mean, I, I mean, I enjoyed it. I mean, that's one of the biggest thing I like about training horses, but doing that lead line and stuff like that. Here's the number one thing. If they didn't love it, how long do you think they'd do it? That's right. They'd bail. Bail. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to do that no more. That's the way it is. You, you can do us a commercial. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> What's wrong with the Humane Society of the United States? Despite its name, the Humane Society of the U.S. is not affiliated with your local pet shelter. Charity Watch gives HSUS a D grade, finding around half of each donation is spent on overhead. Where does the money go? To pay some sketchy people. The previous CEO left under a cloud of sexual harassment. The current CEO, who makes over $400,000 a year, came from PETA, the same organization that kills thousands of cats and dogs a year. Then there's John Goodwin. 
He's a lobbyist who used to be a spokesperson for the Animal Liberation Front, a group that supports arson and terrorism, according to the FBI. The Humane Society of the United States might sound nice, but there's a lot you don't know. Visit HumaneWatch.org to learn more. Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. It's going to be strictly kids because th this is their show. We're getting ready to kick off 2023, yes. and I'm looking for it to be great for the youth. All right here's your 6 to 14 pony. There's Eli. Yep. I tell you what, there's gonna be some trouble in that class this year. Allie Joe on switchblade, it's gonna be tough, and there's some, we've got some great ponies right there. There's one of them. Oh yeah. I mean, they, these ponies are, are just outstanding. But it's gonna be fun watching it. I think it's, it would be a good show year this year. There's big enough. It will be good. I, I truly believe that. But we're going to see some new people emerge. We, we'll probably see some uh, new members of the industry. Yeah. You know, there's, a, there's a saying in this industry, you ride one today, you'll own one tomorrow. And that is true. Very true. It just, people just don't do not realize how true that is. Now this is twelve seventeen show player. Yeah. You know that, that's a good good break with our children. Uh -huh. That is. I like the twelve to fifteen. Yeah at the 16th because there's a lot of maturity from the 15 up. Well, but you remember back in many moons ago, you had your 11 and under class and you had your 12 through 17 class and then when you come back for the world championship, all of them showed against each yeah. other. All of them got in there together. And then, I mean, and you'll see some little bitty kids beat them big kids yeah. in there. Well, it, it, the way you ride your horse, though. Yeah. I've seen a lot of these youngsters that uh, I've ridden horses all my life, but some of them, I know they're better riders than I am. with cash. You know, she does jumper and everything. Oh, yeah. There's a nip of gin. Our children, some some of them, and of course, this is where they're located, and I realize that. But it's just like water horse. We we have some children that we cover a lot. Oh yeah. And others we don't get to cover as much yep. because we're not in that area. Anyway. Mm -hmm. But one time a year, they all come together. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Got 
get that running pass oh, yeah. in on the way to the That's right. line up. Through the years, that became known as the Billy Gray victory mm -hmm. pass. Yep. his first one there, but I bet money it won't be his last no, one. No, it won't be the last one. See the difference in ages there, six to 17 yes. trail pleasure. There's a lot of yelling going on. No, oh, screaming yeah. and cheering. They get excited now. Yeah. You know, you can almost have this one almost like they have at the end of the year, that whole show just with kids, different divisions That's and it. stuff like that. You could put enough classes together yeah. that just for the youth, yeah. 17 and under, and you could, it would really be something because especially that's all you had, and you may be surprised the number of entries yes, that you would right. have. I mean, because if you think about it, even in the, the flat shot division, I mean, you got trail pleasure, country pleasure. Yeah. And you got 11 and under. Yeah. 12 to 17, 12 to 15, 15 to 17. I mean, you, you got a lot of. I mean, you got different classes. A lot of classes, and it may improve on the numbers. It yeah. could very well. Infidelity. Now, I wanted to talk about this and call Carol Brooke Adams, bless her heart, lost her horse. Infidelity had passed, so we're doing this in memory of that horse for Carol Brooke Adams. It's a nice horse. Oh, yes. You know, that, that's, that's one thing about the, when you own animals, it's the heartbreak when you lose He's them. Uh -huh. And uh, There's a lot of horses in that class right there. Yes. There's also a lot of people in the stands watching.
you know, here lately, it been a bunch of horses been sold for yep. juvenile horses. Well, people are looking at the juvenile classes, and, and they are beefing up, and that's yep. what we that's what we really need to uh, kind of look at and in, improve in our juvenile yep. classes. You'll see a lot of the older horses with different riders. Yep. This year. I well, heard we it. Had several. I, I was told that Epic had sold, but I have not heard it from the people, so I'm not going to report on it. Yes. But uh, now that that right there is, is is one of the best ones alive today. Yeah. But we know that that uh, I think Justin Horn is a little boy. They bought him a new little pony to show. Well, and, and the, that little boy can yeah. flat ride. Mm -hmm. And of course, Allie Joe, she got. Switchblade. Yes. So I'm gonna tell you the competition in the youth classes, the Andals better be glad they're up there where oh, they're yeah. at. <laughs> Don't want no part of that youth division. Look at how be smoking. He has not been beat in two years. Yes. And that's youth and amateur. It doesn't make no difference with that horse. But look at all the horses in that ring right there. Now that's one that Allie Joe shows to. Yes. Good horse, buddy. Sometimes I get to enjoying watching these kids so much as I don't. Instead of talking, I'm watching. I'm watching. That's the thing. You get to when you get to watch a good video, a good horse. I mean, that's what you get to do, and you get to watching. Well, I watch the way they ride. The yeah. kid, every one of them, they, they got different posture that yeah. they. And you you can say, well, this one. In my mind, I'm saying, well, I wish that was set up a little, a little bit more. Yeah. One. But the fact is, in in the. Uh, I was told this one time by a daddy said, as long as he's showing and, and he wins every now and then, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that goes back again on that beginning in that lead line class. She begin lead line, see how That's she it. sits up. I mean, she got good posture and everything else on that horse. Well, you look at some of them young boys, because we all know that mostly the girls show lead line. Yes. Now, that's mostly what it is. And so they, they get more of the instructions. But we look at some of these boys, and they got boys in the equitation classes yeah. now, which is real good. But they, they learn their posture too. Yeah. Now your older trainers have better posture than the younger, younger trainers. Tra yeah, you're exactly right. That's the one thing I will say about Jeremy. He, he does not punch over yeah. the side. Now, Lee Joe. Now that's the same little girl that was being led up and down the hall yeah. by her father just a few years ago. Now we back to the six to eleven. That's a good oh, sound. Yeah. 
Collector Gracie Jean Ware. Some good horses out there. Oh yeah, very good horses. I tell you what, Tom, he, he did. This is what it's all about for him. Yeah. That's what it's all about. through 17s. I tell you, it's almost easier to get a good ribbon in the open class than it is this juvenile class. <laughs> it is. You get to watching these horses here, and I mean, it's some good. I was thinking the same thing, because some of these youth, they ride a whole lot better horse. That's right. Than, we, than we've got in the adult. In the adult class, you're right. I mean, you look from horse to horse, and all these horses are real, real nice horses. Yeah. In the adult class, you can pick two or three that's real top, and the other one's kind of mediocre. Every one of these some guns is real nice. You know, a lot of these, it's just like uh, some some of the girls, they, they play softball, basketball, yeah. they ride horses. Jeff Lachlan's daughter. Yes. A good pitcher, real good pitcher. In softball. Sammy Cagle's horse right there. It's a real nice horse. Young lady can play, play basketball. Yeah, big time, no doubt about it. <laughs> they said that she was a scoring machine. I said I didn't know when she'd have time for basketball, the way she rides. Right. Yeah. All right. I'll take us to a commercial because we're going to run and come right back. How's that? That'll work. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. 
You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, Ryder Cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right. All righty, here we go. Now, we're going to go. We, we had one class this year that wasn't celebration packed full of horses and I mean it was good yes and this was your fall classic Andy Atkins Memorial and gives me you watch every, all these people start running towards the rail to watch this class right here oh it'll pack up oh yeah They all wear them hats, buddy. Yeah. And ball caps. Some good ones in here too. Oh yeah, that full of good ones. Like I'm saying, that these kids they have better horses oh, yeah. than adults do. I'm a big fan of that Super Bowl MVP. So to me, that that horse is just just he's automatic. so consistent. Yeah. Automatic, go mm -hmm. to it. You know, Andy uh, was the first one, him and, and Justin, they did the tribute to the flag the first yeah. time. Mm -hmm. And uh, they did it on uh, Texas Joe Black and another gray horse. I can't remember the other one's name. But it was done in the Cal Sonic. And, buddy, you're talking about beautiful. Yeah. Now it was. That's good. That's what this is all about. about. That's, That's right. why we need more kids. Talked to a young lady over in Franklin County named Cat Dye. She's got over 40 students. 
Mm -hmm. But they, they, they learn everything. Yeah. Not just, uh, they learn the obstacle, they learn the show. So, yeah. they, they learn everything there is to know about the walking horse or any other horse. Yeah. But now that's, we, we need classes like that or shows yeah. like that. And that could be held on a weekend, just one day, yeah. Sunday afternoon, mm -hmm. for two or three hours, just to let the more kids get involved in the horse. Well, yeah, you're right. I tell you what, that was a good class oh, it down was a good there. Class. Super good class, a lot of good horses. And I want everybody to remember the Penny Royals coming up. Yeah. How many are you gonna take up there? Forty. You know, <laughs> maybe <laughs> six or seven. Try like to six or seven. Yeah. Going to go up there and go for it. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm I'm hoping that that show kicks off a heck of a show season. I hope so too. I and mean, it's, it's got the potential to do it. Yeah, I think so. I mean, a lot of people talking about it. A lot of people will be there just to see what happens, you yeah. know. I mean, that, that's what it's all about. And if we have a big show then, then we just keep going, keep, keep going. That's right. And, and we'll, we'll have some good. I know we got some soup parties coming up where people are going to go out to barns and visit around. But yeah. all in all, I'm looking forward to the Penny Royal. Me too. Well, Jerry, glad to have you here today. Thank you. I'm glad you have me here. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see everybody next week. Bye. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down a low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.